That's right, let's do this. My favorite thing to do in the whole world, plumbing, love it. Just kidding, I hate it. All right, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to plumb this tank, okay? And I decided to film for you guys because I have a lot of calls of people requesting information on how to set up a sump. Even though there's plenty of videos on YouTube, like uh, the King of DIY, he shows you how to plumb. I learned a lot of stuff from him before I actually opened a business. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, I found all the stuff that I needed, thank God, this is like a mini Home Depot here. I always stock on things that I know I'm gonna need eventually. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is basically plumb these bulkheads. I already drilled this tank, okay? This is the portable tank that we end up buying uh, in case we do shows and also it's really good for us here because if I have a, a larger fish that's sick, I can quarantine him by himself, move it around, you know, and don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, it's its own separate system. So we're gonna go ahead, fill this thing up, but first we have to finish all the plumbing, which I'm gonna teach you how to do it. But before we get to this, let me take a breathe. I just wanna show you guys a breathe. Breath? Look, I wanna breathe some air. Yeah. Are you my English teacher? Uh, yeah, I am. Guys, don't don't get married. Guys, why? Why? All right, now let's go ahead and finish this up because we actually did pretty good today. We packed all the boxes earlier, so we're waiting for UPS. So we got to kill some time. I said, you know what? Might as well finish this up. It's a it's a boring job, but somebody has to do it. You know, Lisa's not gonna do it. Right, babe? Right. Follow me on this here, okay? Um, it's not that hard once you, actually, what I like to do, I like to write it down, and then I like to put all the pieces together before I actually start cutting and gluing things uh, on the wrong places. So, basically, this is what we're gonna do. I have one bulkhead in there that's threaded, right? So I'm gonna use that bulkhead for the return. The bulkhead is one inch, the return is three quarters. So I got a three quarter the reducer, and it's gonna go to an elbow. I put this unit right here, just in case the pump stops working, I can just remove it and not have to cut anything. Okay, and this is gonna go straight to the pump. This, I'm not gonna need anymore. So I'm just, this is gonna be uh, the drain, okay? I got two of them going right there so one is going to go here the other one is going to go on the other side the water is going to drain it's going to go through the filter pad the bio balls the lava rock back to the pump back into the tank that's pretty much it and these i'm going to use on top for the return in case we have smaller fish so they don't get sucked in to the to the sump but i got all my stuff i got the pipe let's do some piping oh Bro, we need to have some kids, babe. We need to have some kids so we can I can just teach them how to do this. Because I can't teach Lewis. Yes, you can. Well, he's not a plumber. He's everything else but a plumber. Okay. But let's go ahead and uh, get started, shall we? I'm a little tired. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't sleep good last night. Lisa was snoring. All right, much better. It's actually gonna go right here. Perfect, so. Oh, you numb nuts. Hold on. Oh, damn it. I decided to use this one. And the reason why is because I'm gonna put this ball valve right here and another ball valve right here. So when I want to do a water change, I all I have to do is pull out that pipe, close this, 
bow valve open this other one and I'll have a drain outside. So this way I don't have to um, add any more holes to this tank. All right, so let's go ahead, put this guy in here. Should still be the same size. Now I gotta do, let's cut a little piece and add this piece right here. Let me go get measuring tape. So right here, it's a uh, six and a half. Let's go ahead and cut six and a half. You wanna get close or you're good? See how everything just falls together? So now, we're just gonna cut a little piece. So, you follow my drift? Yeah. Then think about this issue right here. Come check it out. See this ball valve? It's literally right there by the bulkhead. I don't know if you can see the bulkhead right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is turn, but I can't go too much so I don't hit the tank. Now, what I wanna do is have this one right here. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Huh. You know my hand is not gonna fit in there. Oh. What I could do, I could do this way, and that's gonna be the way. I don't wanna think about it too much. Do you mind putting your hand in there, please? Yeah. To get that one. You missing anything? Wow, that just made it. Holy crap. Okay, now I'm gonna incline this a little bit like that, go straight and shoot that way. In here. Okay, perfect. So now I can open this valve, no problem. And the pipe's not gonna be in the way. I can put the fil filter pad here, the pipe's not gonna be in the way. And this is done. So the drainage is done, okay? Great job. Yes, very great job. You don't want to squeeze it too much to the point where you're going to break the bulkhead, but you definitely want to make sure it's tight so you don't have to redo it. Okay, this piece is already in there. Now, what I'm going to do is add a piece of pipe, a three quarter, into that female right that's already in the pump okay I'm gonna measure it so I can have it coming up to here right where I think that one is gonna be I'll say 12 see I like to reuse a lot of used parts uh, but when you do stuff like this you got to get a coupling which because the pipe is not long enough but I'll get a, a coupling, no problem. So let me go get that coupling. Now what I'm gonna do, get the coupling from here to an elbow, the, it's already right here. Are you getting all this? And that's it. So I just I need to add a coupling here and a piece of pipe. Hopefully this pipe is not gonna be on the way. But this, this pump moves, so. If I have to, I can switch it up. But you gotta be careful because they don't wanna see this sitting right here because it's gonna be sucking the glass or the, the acrylic. So, what I like to do is turn that that side. And if I have to, I'll just go like this, like this. This way I don't even have to get a T. Damn, I'm smart. Psst. You okay? All right, so. Actually, no, I, I meant to say I don't have to get a coupling, just another T. So I'm gonna get a T for that, put them together, and that's it, we're done. Oh, and then we just up. put the top. Oh. Oh. 
Is it the same height? I think the top is a little higher. Yeah. Yeah, a tiny, a tiny hair. Okay, so just a little bit shorter, which should be no problem since we didn't glue anything. Let's go ahead and take a little piece. Hopefully that was enough. Perfect. So all this is done, I just have to glue it. Now let's do the top and be done with it. Now the top part, you just want to put the pipe as high as you want your drain to be. Oh, I forgot to measure the, the coupling. Now it's going to be way too high. Check it out. See, I got to cut a little bit more. Come see it? This is going to be a little too high. The water is going to start overflowing but because it's a little closed it will go up so i don't want it to go past that so i just got to cut a little piece no problem that will be no problemo uh besides that i have to get another mail to put it in here and i'll be right back the mail okay and remember we're gonna glue this guy, we don't need to glue these guys because they're just draining. And like this one here, that's the one that we put the extra ball valve to do the water change. So we can just lift it up and the water will drain out. All right, now I'm just gonna put this little 45 angle to make sure that it goes down this way. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna come up, come down this way and it's stirred up all the stuff to go up into the drain. So, glued it. Don't forget that. So I glued everything, okay? Everything's literally done. Um, we shouldn't have any leaks, hopefully. I also screwed the middle part so we don't forget. So now let's start their filling up process. Are you ready? No. no Gimbo. All right. Let's see what happens. Water's gonna start coming down. I have to uh, plug the pump and get ready. Get it ready. So let's see. When the water start coming down and it goes over the overflow, water's gonna be going into the pump. Should be any second now. Oh, oh, oh. man! I love when stuff works like perfectly. This is actually a pretty cool setup. I'm very happy. Yeah, overflow is working. This is working. Maybe when we put a lid, it won't splash as much, but I wanted to leave a little bit higher so it creates enough oxygen as well for whatever fish is in here. So we don't need to use a bubbler. All right, the pump is covered. Pretty good. I say, um, out of 10, this was our 11 project. What do you think? Yeah. Now, if I can find... Check this out real quick, babe. Just so everybody can see what I'm thinking. If I can find a lid that will go sit right in here in, in this side uh, panels, then I'll cut these a little shorter and make them shorter. So all this is going to be under the lid. But I might just put a lid covering the whole thing. Yeah. I just don't want this splashing out um, to other units. Water break 
I like I like that look too. But I think this is good, man. This is uh this is gonna be a good uh helpful tank, you know. We're always having a hard time finding space to put um fish that either get beat up through shipping or another fish attacked overnight. So this is good to have this system up and running. So guys, what I do here now. I'll put a filter pad right here. As you can see, the water is gonna roll right into the filter pad, evenly distributes through all these little holes. In here, I'm gonna have bio balls and through the whole tank, even in there, I can put bags of uh, lava rock. So I can just take the bag out, clean it, and put bags over here too. I just gotta make sure I'll put a screen over there so it's not sucking anything in. And that's it. This is, this is, uh, this is pretty golden. We're done. If you guys have any questions on filtration, let me know. Again, don't forget, we got a shipment from Colombia. It will be on the website, and we can ship it on Monday. So, guys, Sunday's the last day for the promo code, okay? Remember, Monster 10, Monster 20, Monster 30, 50, 70, whatever. Just go watch that video, all right? I'll see you guys next time.